Well, 4 0, but uh, I think it's not unreasonable to say we got a little lucky. That said, that said, although I don't feel like this deck is great, I do think that the power level of the format at large has dropped, like, very noticeably since Unearthed Prophecy came out. So it might just be like, our, our, our deck isn't that great, my opponent's decks are even worse. Like, that's entirely possible. Um, right, turn one, turn two for the win. This is good backup and also helps kill Heartseekers, which we'll need. This is our first, like, serious matchup. Probably. Uh, that's a little slow. I think I'm still going to keep this because we do need to win the board. Like, this deck needs to be ahead and doubly so against opposing Songhai. So, let's go with it. Oh, perfect. That's a really good option to have. Songhai's been doing well in Gauntlet relative to the other factions because their basics are so good. Interesting. I mean, the thing is that you get fewer basics now. That's part of the problem, like... Getting... Or any commons from Corset or whatever. Um, there's now enough weird, cool situational cards in the format that you're much less likely to get the solid things, which is probably what... I mean, like, I'm glad you've noticed the power level drop as well, because it really struck me. Um, like, between, you know, Ancient Bonds, there's all this tribal stuff that is not very useful unless you have a massive amount of it. Um, and the Bloodborne spells are good at playing around inconsistent card quality. I wouldn't say that for Kalios. I mean, Kalios' Bloodborne spell is quite nice, and I think underrated. But I... Oh, my God. <laughs> at least we have more. We can play more and Key Beholder. That's filthy. I vote we do that. And we're still going to take five. But this is pretty good. Vet scares me more than in any faction now because in order to show up a high winds. Yeah. I don't know. I think, I think Vet are pretty good. Like, I haven't played them much in UP, but... Um, To be fair, I've only drafted the format a few times. Um, I'm going to put this here for maximum body blockage, I guess. Maybe here. I guess being able to take the mana tile is technically nice, but... No, actually, then she can put something on the mana tile that hits it. Like, she can play more on the tile or whatever. Maybe being over here is good in that for that. Can she play an AoE? Not in Songhai. Oh, we got the real card. The vet are actually the weakest. Is that statistically or just your opinion? Not that I'm... I have a problem with it being your opinion. I'm just just checking. Um, like, I haven't... I haven't been playing Duelist that much in part due to being away in new job and stuff. So I've only gotten to do a few drafts since UP came out. Um... I've actually had some of the first... Well, I broke I broke my uh, streak of continuous seven-win drafts that I'd kept since core. <laughs> it's so sad. My opinion, maybe also statistically. Well, we can check it, right? Is it is it on Bagoon? There's got to be a... Well, let's just Google it. Do a list. Go on to the tier list. Um, there's a Zelda's... Zelda's got one. One Pancakes apparently have one in, had one from June... So look. Doesn't look like there's anything recent. The Zelda's one from a while ago. Um, there's not much actually. Well. Um, we can't quite blink this in to kill it. We can Killing Edge and win the Ranged War. That's a decent option. It's probably our only option, to be honest. Uh, these cards are all quite good, so let's see if I can find a 2-drop. Rush Kitty... Kitty almost does it. I think we just have to Killing Edge and hope my opponent doesn't have a follow-up. I mean, to be fair, if they do, we still traded two for two, right? That's not too bad. It sucks that we can't do anything else with the turn, though.
shoot this. We can at least deny this amount of tile. I'm gonna trade face damage, possibly a bit greedily just because I'm ahead right now. And Reva has inevitability with her Bloodborne spell. But I'm gonna keep this alive so that she can't leave me with only this for board. Like if she if I attack and then she attacks this and Phoenix fires this or something, she can end up ahead. I don't want that. Sweet, double rock is good. Get that card advantage going. Uh, there's a lot of phase in the Gauntlet Ladder, that's reasonable. I was actually shocked when you said you had a 7th streak going the way, all the way back to core. Yeah, honestly, like, it's very possible. I, since I took up streaming, I had a couple of runs that didn't go too well while I was getting, go, while I was getting the hang of it. And then I didn't go below 7 wins until uh, a couple of... But I did, I did a, one that got to six, only six wins. There was a Sarge one. That was a bad idea on uh, on stream. And then I did a Magma one that the deck had like two, two drops. It was awful. Um, and loads of AoE that never really landed. And that went one and three. That was, that was sad. Uh, and then it, uh, my next one went to like some decent amount. I forget exactly. Um... Don't really know what determines the profile pick. Um, what do you mean by that? You mean like the the user profile? I think that's just something you can choose, right? Your little icon in the game. Average. Uh, where did you see the gold list? I just googled it. Um, one pancakes has one, but I don't know anything about it. Um, there doesn't seem to be an obvious tier list in this sheet, unless it's at the end. No, it's literally just rated every card out of out of 100. It's pretty impressive, though. Um, oh, you mean the list of players? Uh, I think that was on the main site. Okay, this is fine. We get a free kill on the 2-3. We can develop our Rocket Up Terror. Get in for some damage. I'm going to replace probably the Tiger looking for a 2-drop. I guess I can mirror meld this. I want to get as far ahead on board as possible. And surround my opponent to limit her movement options. So we're going to go mirror meld. Oh, it spawns randomly, doesn't it? I forgot about that. Face. And then rock out. Kill this. Ooh, nice. Double giant blood tear alchemist is going to be good. We might just start pushing face next turn, actually. We have 15 on board. 16 with this. That's absurd. I'm talking about the picks next to the names in the gauntlet leaderboard on Bagoom. Oh, sorry, yeah. Um, I think that's... Yeah, probably the faction they did best with, or maybe their most played faction. I'll have a look. You might say. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if Faye was still the top dog. Like, Faye is really good. V Vanar cards are really good. Warbird is really good. Um, like, she's at least up there, right? And Warbird lets you play similar to river warbird lets you play in a certain way that other classes don't get like even the ones that make pinions which you know generally very strong they don't always deal damage to your opponent's face warbird you can just you know if the if the two of you fight and then break apart and you're both on lowish life and licking your wounds Fae just wins automatically um what does that oh god um, so I guess we just go all face now, right? Ignore that. Um, what can I draw this lethal? Primus first. Is that it? Um, the Saber Spine that I replaced last turn. I kind of need all these cards. I, I guess I don't need the Cyclone Mask that much, but it might be good to run away from this. Um... I 
I guess we don't really need the rocket up Terra. The other thing is I can just play this, right? Yeah, I can do three plus three. That's fine. Hit you, hit you. Play this. I'm going to replace the Sun Steel, actually. Just look for Burst. Hit you. Run away. I have range now, lol. Hit you. Hit you. So we're one off lethal. <laughs> um, Faye is best for getting infinite. River is best for getting 12. Um, as in, Faye is best for reliably getting 7. And River is the kind of highest upside. That's, you know what? I think I buy that. Um, like, Warbird doesn't always work. And when River decks are good, holy crap. Um, I'm trying to think what I've had my 12 win runs with. I've definitely had them with both River and Fey. I don't know if I've had them with other factions. I think I had them with Lionel once. I honestly don't remember. I haven't 12 win that many times, like, a, you know, a few. Don't you have 14 on board here? Um, no, it was slightly more. It was 8 with the creatures and then 7 with this guy. It was 15. Godlet leaderboard is for rift mode. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's boring. Um... What did the Rocket Top Terra surprisingly good in eight gates? Oh wow, I can buy that. Wow. Bad Kalios deck is working. <laughs> and gold amount gold. <laughs> 